Central Park West Condo Board is suing to stop the construction of a protected bike lane along the east side of the street. A judge denied their request today for a temporary restraining order, meaning construction can go ahead as planned while the DOT and condo board fight it out in court. For two and a half miles, bikers can ride up Central Park West, and as they do in much of the city, it's a dance of avoiding swerving cars and crossing pedestrians. Do you feel unsafe when it's a lane like this? Uh, I feel less safe. And now a hotly contested protected bike lane is being built over the existing one, and in the process, approximately 400 parking spots will disappear. While cyclist advocates are cheering, the condo board of 25 Central Park West is trying to stop it. Late Tuesday, they filed a lawsuit against the Department of Transportation. The lawsuit claims the city did not perform the proper environmental review, also noting the push for bicycle ridership in New York City, quote, favors a tiny minority of citizens by handing over vast swaths of the city's public space. Roberta Seamer, chair of Community Board 7, says the DOT presented a plan to them in June. They had done a study that showed how much fewer accidents and injuries there would be when there's a protected bike lane. In a heated meeting earlier this month, it passed. We're upset about losing 400 parking spaces, but we felt that having safety was more important than having parking. In a victory for the DOT, a judge ruled today protected bike lane construction can continue on Central Park West. The DOT commissioner said late today, quote, with so many lives being lost this year on our roadways and with the broad support of the community, we are confident that we will ultimately prevail in our efforts to build this much needed protected bike lane. A cyclist was killed along Central Park West in August 2018. That's what prompted the community board to act. Tow-away zone posters are already up along this stretch of Central Park West. Uh, and bike lanes, the previous lines, they've already been blacked out in some places. Now, I spoke with a resident of 25 Central Park West. She's one of the petitioners on the lawsuit. And she tells me the reason why she's gotten involved in this is because she's handicapped. She has a service dog. And once the protected bike lanes are up, she says it's going to be very hard for her to exit a vehicle safely. She says she's disappointed in the judge's decision today.